Professor. Hey, Professor, something's been bothering me. Remember that suspicious guy I chased after back when I was a student? A knight scolded me for it, but at the time, I really thought I was doing the right thing. Now that I've had more experience on the battlefield, though... I've been looking for you. There isn't much time, so I'll keep this brief. The knights encountered a band of brigands while out marching. It was hard fought, but we prevailed. Our soldiers are highly trained, but the enemy was formidable, and we weren't expecting combat. There were a number of casualties among our troops. Much appreciated, but there's a reason I need to bring this to your attention. Do you recall the incident five years ago involving a suspicious individual in Garrig Mach? These brigands all bore the same scorpion tattoo that we found on the arm of that man. Oh no. I thought that might be of interest to you. Don't mention it. If you'll excuse me, I need to get back to my duties. <laughs> Heck of a coincidence, right? As soon as I mention that suspicious guy, this happens. But some of the knights died in combat. They died because of what I did five years ago. This is my fault. If I'd stayed quiet and tracked the guy down like you said, we would have stopped those brigands sooner. And I wouldn't have blood on my hands. It's no use trying to comfort me. You know I'm right. Just say it. Those poor knights. It's all my fault. Really? Professor, it's been a while. It's really good to see you again. An awful lot has happened in these past five years. There were so many times I wished you were around. I'm glad you're back. Your skills are worth more than a whole army. Tea? We could invite the others and the soldiers. <laughs> Doesn't it? Oh, there probably isn't time to bake any treats, though. Oh, I should invite Dimitri to come along as well. Though I don't suppose he'll want to join in. I have some experience with cooking. I am sure I can aid you in the kitchen. Let me consider. How the meal tastes affects the morale of the troops. An army marches on its stomach. I couldn't go back to the Empire after Garrick Mach fell, so I started drifting across the Kingdom and Alliance. 
then I just happened to run into our old class, so we came back to the monastery together. Hello there. Hey, I could use a hand. I need a favor. is such a mess. How are we supposed to know where's safe and where's not? I should probably just move my little sis and grandpa to Garrick Mach. At least I could keep working on becoming a proper knight without having to worry about them. I gotta find them a house once things calm down a bit. You're kidding. Is... Is Dudu really gone? There's so much more I wanted to say to him. He was always so tender with the flowers in the greenhouse. I wonder how they're doing. Oh. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. You know, it's such a thrill to be able to greet you like this again. I almost died as well in the battle five years ago. But I won't allow any enemies to get into this place again. I promise you that. Even if the Death Knight shows up, I'll be sure to... Well, for now I'll keep training, so I can eventually feel confident that I can stop him. Really now? There's unrest everywhere these days. All of my fellow merchants seem to be endangered. I hope things go back to normal soon. People need more to smile about, aside from my great deals. Hey, how about a favor? Got a favor to ask. Right. What do you require? Farewell. Okay. Professor! <laughs> I'd given up on ever seeing you again. Where have you been hiding? Anyway, now that we're reunited in the land of the living, I must fulfill my promise. That's right. I promised the captain I'd protect you in his stead. And now I'll make good on my word. Do you have time for a request? Think about it, His Highness was right. We probably don't have time to waste on cleaning. Maybe I wasn't taking the situation seriously enough. After all, the Imperial Army could be showing up at any time. I was just so happy to see you again, and everyone else too. Maybe I got carried away. Oh. 
Oh, really? <laughs> That's so nice to hear. Did you? Oh, forget you heard anything! Oh. Hmm. Right, right. Okay. Professor. Thanks for your help out there. Battles tend to go smoother with you around. <laughs> I think you did most of the heavy lifting. It may be unwise to think this way on the battlefield, but I feel I can trust your commands without question. But, judging by the results of our recent battles, you're clearly good at this. I've also noticed that you've been putting me in more precarious situations lately. Almost like you know I won't question your orders. Huh. I'm glad you trust me to get the job done, but still. I knew you were doing it on purpose. You're in a very important position now that you're leading the charge against the Empire. Funny to think you used to just teach at the Officers' Academy. Your old students still call you Professor. That's no title for the commander of an army. Relax, I was just having fun. You sure are an interesting one. My people lost the war, and I was left to wander Fodlan alone, but I guess meeting you was my prize. You look confused. Did you not know any of this? I was living in my homeland of Dagda, up until the Imperial Army destroyed it ten years ago. But, being a mercenary, I have no real allegiance. That's why I'm working here now. Don't worry, though. I don't plan to turn on you. five years, many kingdom houses have become vassals of the Empire. The major houses of Fraldarius, Gautier, Karen, and my own family Galatea remain loyal. But the lords of the minor domains in the west have almost entirely defected. After all the royal family has done for them, they respond with betrayal, and to think they have the gall to call themselves nobles. But we still have His Highness, and you, Professor. I'm sure we can take back the kingdom's lands. During the Millennium Festival, the leaders of all territories were supposed to gather together and pledge perpetual peace. But now that hope has been dashed, thanks to the Emperor's actions. The Alliance is also divided on the subject of the Empire, so internal conflicts are a regular occurrence. <sighs> Professor, I am so glad you were unharmed. No matter the path you walk, I will be with you every step of the way. Anything you ask of me, I shall see it through. You saved my life, and I am in your debt. <sighs> Professor, 
Professor, is there any reason for me to remain here? I want to be useful, of course, but I'm not sure anyone needs me. If you really mean that, I will stay and do my best to help. of a mercenary than a knight these days. I work to get paid. I never was too attached to Fodlan. I was considering leaving soon, but I might change my mind if you're around. Quest concerning that creature. I can hardly look at the thing in the state it's in. Do something about it. Please do. We tracked the boar for five years. I thought he was dead. In the state he's in, he might as well be. He's gotten better at killing people, and in exchange, surrendered what little humanity he had. It seems that in the last five years, the monks here have left this place for the town below. However, once they learn of our return, perhaps they'll come back. I hope the monastery can return to normal someday. Well... his ears. Need something? It's again soon. gotten better During his it served to demonstrate to the devout across Fodlan that the Church of Seros is still going strong. As a result, the faithful are not currently in a state of chaos. Right. Okay. I'm in the Alliance. The Lords have been at odds. So peace and prosperity have declined there as well. In particular, bandits have been appearing in large numbers near the Great Bridge of Murden. Rumor has it that the Domain's Lord Someone by the name of Acheron is a completely ineffectual leader. In Lady Rhea's absence, I will follow you. That's what she would want me to do. Know that wherever you might lead us, I'll continue searching for Lady Rhea. Good. 
because I will not budge on that point. Five long years I've searched for you and the Archbishop. The Church of Seros will follow you from now on. But please do not abandon the search for Lady Rhea. Thank you. Oh. We have given proper burial to the Imperial soldiers killed in the monastery. The ones who were sent to investigate the thieves. Already, rumors spread that they were utterly annihilated. So regardless of whether there are spies observing us... Your Highness... Dimitri... How could you be so reckless? I have a request. This experience is critical. Thank you very much. to thank you, Professor. That is, for letting me live my life the way I want. I've noticed you've been giving me fewer of those soul-revealing gazes lately. I appreciate you making an effort to not trouble yourself over who I spend my time with. If you say so. But I notice you doing it all the same. It's kind of sweet, in its own way. <laughs> Professor, may I tell you a story about when I was younger? I was an orphan, living in the back alleys of Enbar, until one day I was overheard singing. That was when my new life began. I was suddenly a songstress in the Middle Frank Opera Company. Performers, nobility... I met so many people. But none of them ever really knew me. I was just some young, pretty girl who could sing. A spectacle to be admired. Even though everyone praised my looks and my voice, and they showered me with gifts, I knew one day I'd be old. My looks would fade. My voice would change. I wouldn't sound the same. And I started to wonder, when I did get old, what would I have left? I'd be old. Alone. And back on the streets of the capital, right where I'd started. You can never be certain about what the future will bring. I never had much to begin with in life. And I worry that one day, I'll be that way again. That's why I keep searching for someone who will love me. Someone unaware of the songstress can love a girl that used to be scared and alone on the streets of the capital. <laughs> I wonder if such a strange person can even exist. Professor? Do you remember what we talked about before? About doing my best to not do my best? Well, 
I've been pretty busy recently, and despite my best efforts, I've been trying way too hard. I was busy all day yesterday with training and work. I just couldn't help myself. That's why I decided to take a day off today. It's just, now that I have a day off, I don't know what to do with myself. Please, you have to help me. What should I do? I tried that. I couldn't calm down enough to fall asleep. I'm sorry, but I don't think I'm cut out for not doing my best. Oh! You're a professor. You must know some secret technique for deep relaxation, right? If you do, please teach me. I'm begging you. I'm at my wit's end. Got it. I'll try that right now. Mm, this candy is so sweet and delicious. And it goes so well with piping hot tea. Ooh, and speaking of the tea, your brewing skills are incredible. I'd love to be able to make such nice tea, but... Oh, Professor, will you teach me how to brew tea like this? I'll do my best to learn, and then I'll make delicious tea for you as thanks. Oh, uh, sorry. Back to my old tricks, it seems. So, why is it so difficult to not do my best? I try and try to not try, but it just doesn't work. You're right! Doing nothing is just not my style. To be myself, I've got to do my best every day. Okay! Then you really must teach me how to make such delicious tea. You will, won't you? Please! Oh, and also, well, thank you. You've listened to me and helped me face my troubles. <laughs> now I feel like I can talk to you about anything. Honestly, I wish we could go on drinking tea like this forever. So, yeah. We're kidding. Oh. Hmm. Professor. Do you have a moment, Professor? I need to speak with you. Thank you so much. This is what I wanted to address. This letter from my adoptive father just arrived. Have I not mentioned him? He's the reason I first came to the Officer's Academy. He's also the one who dragged me from the church where I was living, just so he could use my crest. My crest does not yet belong to a house, so he plans to use it as leverage to marry into the nobility. He's a very greedy man who was a roving merchant before adopting me, but now he's in the capital. This letter says that he's finally arranged to marry me off to a wealthy noble. <sighs> I know he's just thinking of himself, but can't he see that this isn't a priority when we're at war? I suppose it's possible. He may be worried about carrying on his bloodline, but... Ugh! <sighs> I don't know what to do about this proposal! I can't see any way around it, so I fear that I must. I just don't want to let go of the life that I've made for myself. I know it's not what my heart wants, but I don't have the strength to say no. I believe I've mentioned this before, but I want to work in service of the church. Well, I suppose it doesn't necessarily have to be the church, but I want to help those in need. If I were to marry a noble, I think it would be difficult to realize that dream. 
It's just... I've always allowed myself to follow the whims of those above me. I convinced myself that everything in life was at the will of the goddess. I was blind to reality. I believed it was her will to both pull me from the church and guide me to the officer's academy. The decision to enter this war of my own free will. My adoptive father opposed this decision, but I somehow managed to convince him. Still, I couldn't free myself of him completely. This letter is proof of that. It's not that I'm scared of him, but there is something that worries me. Ah! Oh, I knew you'd understand, Professor. I've sat down to write a reply several times, but I can't muster up the courage or the words. I was hoping you could provide me with the encouragement I need. That's a very good point. We're only given one life, so we must do all we can to pursue our happiness. Okay. I think that may have been just the push I was looking for. I'll tell him the truth. That I found a life worth pursuing, and I must decline the proposal. Maybe I should tell him I've fallen for someone else. <laughs> It's you, Professor. Isn't that obvious? <laughs> I'm just teasing. Now I'm off to write this letter and stand my ground. Thank you for your encouragement. <laughs> This looks delicious. Let's eat. This is my favorite dish. Did someone tell you? This is delicious! I like this dish.
There's no one I'd rather eat with than the Professor and Aloise. Hear, hear! Hmm. This old chair keeps creaking. I fear it's on its last legs. Ha! I figured it then. I... You've done me a great service. Thank you. 
I've learned a lot. Making strides. I've learned a lot. <laughs> I've learned a lot. Now I feel like I'm getting somewhere. Now I feel like I'm getting somewhere. Thank you, Professor. I couldn't have done it without you. This is me. I would like to do... Let's do this. Technique. That wasn't... Your praise is appreciated. That wasn't different. That wasn't different. I'm fine. Nail. I think I'm improving. I'll get it next time, too. Thanks for the help. I'd never have learned this back in my room. Thanks for the help. Thanks for the help. to get it. Oh, I'll get the next one too. That was nice. That was nice. Now to apply this knowledge. Thank you. 
I'd like to confirm something with you. I'm not sure I comprehend. Professor. We'd better get to work. Of course. It's finished. I'm getting the hang of it. Now to apply this knowledge. I'll make good use of this power. Looks like I'm getting it. Yeah, I understand now. I get it! I can't sing very loud. <laughs> Who knew I'd have an opportunity to show off my singing voice? I'm getting the hang of this. <laughs> 